Good morning guys, welcome back to a new video. So we're gonna vlog today and possibly tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know how many days we're gonna video, but you guys know how I am. It's just whatever I feel like filming. Um, my husband went to get the oil changed in the car, but today me and him are gonna go out on a little day date um, to Maryland and just have a good day. Um, I just saw on the news, you guys, oh my Lord that a cargo ship like ran into the Baltimore Bridge and collapsed it and there was people on it. I mean, I'm just like, what is going on? <sighs> um, it's so sad and so awful and I haven't saw if they've recovered people alive yet or not, but oh my Lord, I cannot imagine that. So, um, thoughts and prayers for those people's families. Um, I think I'm gonna make a little smoothie um, we might go out to eat today up there. Um, I think it's supposed to be a nice day, but right now it's kind of cloudy looking this morning, but I thought it was supposed to be warm. I halfway French braided my hair and then put the rest of my hair in a ponytail and I really like it. it <laughs> um, my brother's girlfriend inspired me to do this because uh, she's been wearing her hair like this and I think it looks so cute. So I was like, well, I want to do that. I need something different because... Um, I get tired of wearing my hair in a claw clip all the time, even though I've been obsessed with that. It's just starting to get old a little bit, so I need something different to do with my hair. Um, I've always been one of those people that have to do something all the time different with their hair because I just get so bored of the same hairstyle all the time. So, um, I still need to go get my hair cut too, but I ordered some protein powder, so we're going to try that out this morning. Um is the kind my brother recommended and he really likes it he has a really sensitive gut like well i do too honestly but this is the kind that it is if you guys want to try it but we're gonna try it so i can tell you guys if i like it or not um my brother actually has the chocolate kind i don't know if he's tried the vanilla but i got the vanilla to try um for smoothies you can also do a protein coffee which i want to try that one day because i thought that sounded really good but um Today we're just gonna do a quick smoothie. So I need to find some fruit really quick. So I'll have to restock that soon. But I got some pineapples and I also have some berries. Um, this is just strawberries, blueberries, dark cherries. That's pretty much what's in this mixture. But this is a three pound bag that's lasted forever. I feel like from Walmart, it has lasted. Oh, I need to open this. Guys, I bought this at Walmart, but I think you get a better deal on Amazon. But I don't have Prime right now, so if I want to order anything, I have to have my mom or my brother to do it. And then I just give them the money, but I didn't feel like asking them, so I bought it from Walmart. But I think you get a better deal off Amazon. So it smells good. I mean, I don't, I'm not that experienced with protein powder. I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. I'm not that experienced. Does it not come with like a scooper thing? Yeah, it's buried. <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm like, I know this thing has a scoop in it somewhere. One scoop. So we'll just do one today and then see. But if you do two, you get 25 grams of protein, which is more obviously than just doing one. But I'm just gonna do one. Like I said, I wanna make sure I like it. I don't wanna overdo it. So I wish I would've done some milk, but I haven't tried it yet, but I did water, but I should've probably done milk. Hmm, so it's not bad, but to me, it just like, I don't know if maybe it needed more water. It's a little thick. Maybe some more liquid would have been helpful because hmm. It's not bad. However, 
it's chalky like which i like i said i think i needed to add more water maybe hmm i think that would have been maybe what i needed to do i don't really like the chalkiness i i have issues with protein powder i don't know what it is but like the flavor is not bad at all It's just a little chalky. Like you can tell it's there. <laughs> so, but the taste is not bad. Like the taste is fine, but the, it's chalky. I need to add more water, I think. So tonight when I cook dinner for you guys, I'm going to introduce a product to you guys that I'm very excited to test out and share with you guys. Um, you guys know that we go camping every single year and I think that this product is going to be great for that purpose especially because our camper um it has electric burners but they're not the best and this one is going to be so much nicer to use so i'm really excited to share that with you guys so here tonight when we make dinner i'm going to share that product with you guys but um yeah um a little update for you guys really quick it is the next day cole has easter dinner today um I'm getting ready to put some makeup on. I think my mom is supposed to go with me. Uh, it's really all up in the air at the moment because um, my mom, mom went to the ER last yesterday and found out that she had a mini stroke. So they were waiting to get a room last night and I haven't heard today if they got a room yet to stay. They're still over there. So, uh, my mom might be going over there. So, if that's the case, then my husband's going to go with me today to Cole's Easter dinner. And then we'll figure out what we're going to do about, um, I need to go see my mom, mom in the hospital or not. Um, we're going to see what's going on. We don't really have any answers of, like, what caused it or anything. So, just wanted to let you guys know that. Uh, please say a prayer for my family right now because, uh... My brain, I haven't been allowing my brain to process any of that because I told my husband I don't want to be upset because the last time, just because the last time we had a scare, like I was really negative about it and really just scared and all those things, which is understandable uh, when you love someone and you don't want nothing to happen to them. But this time I'm trying a different approach and I'm really trying not to let my brain think too much because I told my husband I just don't want to be sad or anything I just want to try to keep myself distracted as much as possible and uh, just keep praying for the best outcome and hopefully everything will be fine um, so if you guys could say your prayers I'd appreciate that too so yeah I'm just trying to keep positive vibes that everything will be okay that she'll be fine um, and she'll hopefully get to come home because I know not I know anybody doesn't like to be staying in the hospital for very long. The place is miserable. I know when I was in there after, when I had Cole, I just, I could not wait to get out. Like, oh my gosh. And my husband, he's been in the hospital a few times, as you guys know. But same thing with him. He couldn't wait to get out of there. So, I'm, hopefully she don't have to stay very long. They can figure out what they need to do and everything. I'll give you guys an update maybe at the end of this video. I'd like to thank Kariner for partnering with me on this portion of today's video. So this is the 24 inch ceramic cooktop. So the portable plug-in cooktop is uh, very suitable for families with limited kitchen space. Uh, the design panel is made of wear resistant glass, which is convenient for cleaning. It is designed for a touch control and has complete function keys, which can be easily operated by the elderly. Um, it has safety features. Um, that is it's like an overheat automatic shutdown child safety lock and four hour timing when the panel of the hob overheats the hot surface light on the panel will flash to remind you not to touch it um, the two panels can be cooked with different power at the same time the design key function can simply adjust the temperature of the ingredients you need to cook the nine power temperatures range from 150 degrees to 600 degrees fahrenheit and from 200 uh, watts to a thousand watts to 1800 watts the electric 
ceramic hob can be heated evenly and continuously so the food cooked will taste better than others. Um, it is also suitable for all kinds of cookware. One of the advantages of the 24 inch electric ceramic cooktop is that it's compatible with pots and pans made of heat resistant materials such as iron, stainless steel, copper, uh, ceramic, and other cookware. The second advantage of the electric ceramic stove is that it has no electromagnetic radiation and is harmless to humans. Ceramic cooktop is built in or you can use it on the countertop as I am today where I just installed the legs that come with it on the bottom and just set it up on the countertop. It was really easy to do um, or like I said you can install it inside the countertop. Um, just make sure that it's vented really well. When you're done using this ceramic cooktop you want to make sure you let it cool down for 10 minutes before you actually unplug it. Um, that will just help it last a lot longer. So a few things that I really loved about this cooktop is that it was really easy to clean and it was also uh, really easy just to use in general. Um, I feel like anybody could use this and I loved all the different options that it had on it to like if you wanted to boil something, if you wanted to fry, steam. I loved everything about that. I also love that you could take it with you, like if you're going camping, which is what I plan to do. So it can also be used outdoors, but it also be a space saver in your kitchen. Um, and it was really easy to store. I just stored it down in my cabinet and it fit in there perfectly. So I will have everything linked down below for you guys if you wanna check this out. Thank you again to Kariner for uh, partnering with me on this portion of today's video. I um, also wanted to mention really quickly one more thing um, is that I loved about it was that it heated the food really quick. So I really love that too because you know sometimes we don't have a lot of time. We're in a rush and it's nice to have something that'll heat up and get the food cooked uh, fairly quickly if we're in a hurry.
Friday. My mom mom is getting her surgery today. We're going to probably end off this video because it's been a couple days since I've been trying to film but just didn't have time to really film a lot. And I'll, uh, yesterday we went over there to see her, which we had to travel to Virginia. We was gone the entire day. Um, today she's having her surgery. Um, my aunts, my uncles are over there. My mom. Um, so I wanted to update you guys in this video. Her surgery will be around noon, so I will come back later today and update you guys so that way you know how she did with the surgery. But she had a blockage in her neck, and they have to go in and get that removed. And supposedly it's supposed to be a very minor, like, it's low risk, which is good. Because to me it sounds like it's something that'd be high risk, but I guess they, you know, I don't really know how they do it. I don't, they don't have to, like, cut your neck. They, like, go in your vein maybe and get the blockage out but um that's what's going on <laughs> cole's on spring break today so i just got done filming a whole house clean for easter or yeah for sunday's video for you guys it is a long one let me just tell you guys i did a lot of stuff my kitchen was trashed so if you guys want to see that video go watch it but I cleaned I just got done it's like 10 o'clock now and I filmed last night and this morning so I've been filming for what feels like forever so um hope you guys are gonna have a great Easter we're actually gonna start a new vlog so I'll vlog our Easter festivities like I always do um I don't really know we're not really getting into much other than we might do an egg hunt on Sunday we, uh, my mom is making a dinner Sunday. Um, I'm actually going to make a dinner for us, just the three of us, tonight, I think. So I want to go put the ham in the crock pot here in a little bit and get that going. But we're just having a basic dinner. We're just going to do ham. Um, I saw a really easy recipe. My husband bought like a small ham this year to try something different. So it'll actually fit in the crock pot. Um, because normally I'm a spiral ham person. I love spiral ham so much. They make the best ham salad too. Um, but uh, you just need brown sugar, some honey, and some Dijon mustard. The only thing I don't have is the Dijon mustard. But I can throw that in later when my husband gets home from work because he's going to bring it for me. Um, we're going to have some macaroni and cheese, some mashed potatoes and gravy. And I'm probably going to have a vegetable because I like to have a vegetable. Um... And some dinner rolls. I actually have Pillsbury roll, uh, biscuits. I think I'm going to bake in the oven. So that's going to be our little Easter dinner. It's nothing fancy. Simple. But as a family, I'm going to go ahead and do that tonight. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and do coloring eggs tomorrow night. Instead of... I was going to do it tonight. But guys, I'm just like... Ugh. I think I'd rather do it tomorrow. So we're going to do that tomorrow night. We're going to have our dinner tonight. And then... I'll vlog a new video for you guys. Hey mom, I put all the clothes. What did you do with the clothes? In the dryer. Thank you so much. That I, helps me so much. You helped in the dryer? You did? Thank you for putting the clothes in the dryer. That was very nice. <laughs> He's already been helping me all morning. <laughs>